पचपन साल की उम्र में दे रोमांसिंग गर्ल्स हुआ ट्वेंटी एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड थर्टी कम ऑन For all film-related interviews, reviews, and content, please like and subscribe to Pooja Talwar. You can also follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. Hello, my lovely ladies. What happens when there is too much talent in one frame? What do you do? Too, too much. Jalsa, 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 jalsa. But seriously, when two talented ladies come together, how do you? What is it like, and how do you play off each other's energies? I think honestly, you'll have to ask Suresh Triveni because you know I don't think I look at it like that at all. It was an opportunity to work with Shivali Shah, who I've loved forever, but I I didn't think of it like that at all. Suresh, actually, Suresh could answer this better, but we did. I think. uh it's wonderful to be facing an actor who's so giving and generous uh who's so present uh because acting is about reacting and you know she shefali shah she she'll is. only better your game <laughs> wow wow i agree with that and when you have someone like her she i mean everything with dia said i say the same for her and she makes me richer she makes me better you know so it's just amazing it's really amazing touch wood and thank god we got together on this one and under suresh yeah not under suresh alongside suresh yeah that's yeah. true awesome and you know it's something vidya said and which i actually now stand by is you don't need heroes it's a great time to be out an actor and a female actor because the two of you who have been driving the space बॉडी <laughs> I definitely think that it's a better time to be a female actor today than a male actor because because um you know cinema reflects reality society etc cetera, etc cetera, the you're seeing many that many more nuanced layered characters in the female actor space undoubtedly absolutely i agree I totally agree. I mean, I couldn't have asked for anything better. Wow! And it's like, after all these years, I feel I'm in the right place and at the right time. And you know, there is a similarity between the two of you. Both started with television. Both came into films. Both broke, they say, the shackles of being stereotyped and boxed. And now both are ruling the. space that i mean it's not easy to us both of you are ruling the ott space as they say i mean that's just amazing how did this was it a, how has it panned out actually for the two of you because i've spoken to both of you the kind of narratives you want to headline what you stand for as women on and off screen But this I is just amazing. We started from television, but uh, and we went into films, etc. But there is a difference, a marked and distinct difference between Vidya's career and my career, uh, which is when we started with television. I did a lot of television. Vidya did just a mm. few things, and she was resilient. From whatever I've been hearing, she knew she wanted to be an actor, and she worked towards it, you know, conscientiously and. she gave it her all right from the beginning mm -hmm. while i didn't know i wanted to be an actor until much later even after working also she came in she her you know she broke the shackles of the expected age of a heroine exactly she became a heroine at a age which people would not have considered and what a debut i mean I, i'm not talking about the bengali film i'm yeah, talking yeah. about uh, parinita and then on she paved the path for a lot of women 
which I mean, when I look at her career, if I had to pick one person's career and say, I'd wish for this kind of a graph, it would be Vidya Balan. I would be. Yeah. I, second that. I did television. I did parts in films, which I'm very, very proud of. I mean, all the films I've done are, are amazing films and some brilliant directors, but I, I never got put in a lead. And maybe I got typecast very early. Maybe it had to do with the choices I made. And I don't regret those choices because at that point of time, I thought it was the right thing mm. to do. So, but I'm finally getting the work that I've always wanted to do, you know? So there is a difference. I mean, Vidya has paved a path for a lot of us. Trust me when I say that. Exactly. And Vidya, I really want to tell you that because I speak to a lot of young actors, they look back at you as a reference for what the, what they're, ben, you know, reaping now. Like you sowed the seeds for them to benefit now. And maybe the path that you were treading then, I followed your career. At that time, must have been really lonely. You're like a lone ranger. I will do this. I will not do that. I will not comply with the box office, whatever it means. Doesn't matter. It's my path. It'll be a little tough, but I'm walking this path. That must have been very tough. Firstly, thank you, Shifali. Please. And thank you, Pooja. <laughs> but... Um, you know, nothing was conscious. I, I haven't planned a single thing in my career or in my life for that matter. The only thing I wanted, Pooja, was to be an actor. So I would grab every single opportunity that allowed me that. Whether it was doing television initially, and I remember I was heartbroken when my parents said, you're uh, appearing on the blacklist month after month. We cannot have you... Um, you know, compromise on your education. So I had to quit Thampanj. And I thought that was it. I thought that was the end of my career. But, you know, therefore I couldn't afford to do television at that time. Because I, I asked them if I could do it through correspondence. They said, no, no chance. You will go to college because you can work throughout your life. But you will never have this experience again. College is very important. I said, okay. So I completed college. And then whether it was ad films or whatever, everything was taking me towards my destination. And I just feel grateful that I'm able to live my dream of being an actor every single day today. But um, I didn't know where I was ready to do. I used to go to FTII. They used to pay me the bus. Uh, yeah, conveyance and that's it. I would go for two days, shoot something, come back. And I didn't care. See, also I had the luxury of choice because I was in Bombay. I lived with my parents. So it's not like I needed to make ends meet or anything. So there were none of those compulsions. But I could just do, I had put this desire out into the universe. And I think the universe was literally conspiring to make things happen for me. Absolutely. I remember how I landed up doing my first ad film. Then how I landed up getting my first feature film. And then how everything is just, it's just fallen into place. Absolutely. You know, the only thing I've done, I'm a greedy actor. And I've grabbed when I've seen a role that excites me, I've just grabbed it with all my might and given it my all. So I cannot really, I, I don't even see it as a lonely journey or anything because I didn't know better. I was like, Ariva, I'm getting to do this great. When Ishkia was offered to me, for example, I just, I thought it was fascinating that I was getting to play a woman who's not Miss Goody Two Shoes like all the characters so far had been. So I just did it. I remember people warning me saying, you know, it's too early in your career to do something like that. Anyway, in a, an actress's career, you get one such role. You focus on being the heroine in commercial films. But look at where it's brought me. Awesome. I just brought you at the right place. And now talking about Jalsa. And I want to tell people, Mr. Bachchan ke ghar ke naam se nahi prabhavit hai, ye kahani. I'm sure you must be getting a lot of that. But Shafari, let me ask you, you really are drawn to this kind of a genre, na? Delhi crime dekha, bhi Jalsa mein bhi meko thoda vaisa vibe aara tha, seeing your uh, face. Uh, well, it's Jalsa and DC. I haven't done any other crime, uh, or uh, not crime, but like thriller. Uh, but Jalsa is not just a thriller, you know, Pooja. It's a human drama as well. In fact, I see it more as a human drama than a thriller. Yes, it will keep you on the edge of your seats, but uh, it's about the human mind, the complexities of relationships. It's all of that put together. And uh, I'm so proud of being a part of this film. I'm, I'm so sure. proud. And with there also the face of thrillers, quite an ace at it, Kahani Bhi Thi, 
No, I've done a few thrillers, I have to say, but Kahani is, you know, talked about a lot. And, um, but I think Jalsa is, Jalsa is, Jalsa and Kahani, there's no comparison. They're completely, um, yes, Jalsa is also a thriller, but like Shefali said, it's primarily a human drama. True, so true. that sets it apart anyway. And this story is just, you know, the story and its telling are very unique because that's Suresh Triveni for you. True. And you play a journalist, you're playing one of us. I know such your uh, reality ke beech mein bohat jagar. You know, sometimes you don't know whether you want to put your face out or your truth out and what you should hide. I know hum log bhi bohat jhoot bolte hain aur kaise bolte hain. But what was it honestly that drew both of you to playing the characters you have? Because uh, it's just amazing from what I have seen. Oh, uh, what was it like? Uh, I think Ruxana and Maya in, are in some way, uh, how do I say this? It's not that they complete each other, but they are a broken part of each other. Uh, you know, and uh, if it wasn't for Maya, Ruxana's world wouldn't turn out the way it did. And if it wasn't for Ruxana, Maya's world wouldn't mm. turn out the way it is. And there is a divide, but they are unified by an unfortunate accident. True. Uh, and what happens when an incident changes not just your circumstances, but the way you look at yourself, when it changes you as a person, where everything you thought was right is no more. You know, where, where your ideas of morality change. Mm, so that is what Ruxana and Maya's uh, characters together are. And that one incident, which has a dominoes effect on s multiple lives. So they're all connected and the way it moves, it's, um, it, uh, that, that for me is Jalsa, that for me is Ruxana, uh, as a character. And Vidya, when you're playing such intense roles, I mean, as actors also, actors tend to dip into their own experience of things that they observe. Anything that for you to get into the mind space of this character, because you can see the confusion and what she's going through. Yeah, you know, and, and the, I think the toughest part for me in playing this role was the fact that, um, you know, uh, that she's inscrutable. You don't know what she's thinking. You don't know who she is. And for someone like me, who's very generally in person, very expressive and very, that was to rein myself in, was I think tough, but also interesting. I think, um, I, I wouldn't know which experiences I actually dipped into because they're all here and they're all here. And then uh, you don't even know where you get your emotional cues from. You know, it's not like it's very clear in my mind. You, know, this is the incident that I'm going you to know, lose. Yeah, yeah, it just happens. That bank is there, and you just subconscious. Yeah, just you don't even di directly think that. Oh, mujhe ye aaj ye scene hai to main, I'll think about this experience in my life. Hmm. You don't even know. Sometimes nothing comes to mind, even if you've gone through something similar. You know, so it's very. Uh, it's very difficult to say. But also theatres are now open. But you have constantly in those years we have given so films that in the theatre or in the home confines we can see where we can see Vidya Balan. You actually have become like the face of I would say streaming. I mean the, also your Amazon's favourite lady. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm thrilled. You know because most importantly with Jalsa I, I feel the theme is universal. Like I, actually, I also felt that about Share Me. I thought Sherni spoke a universal language, but also Jalsa speaks a universal language. The theme is universal. The telling is very universal. And I therefore think that, you know, it, Amazon Prime is the perfect platform for it because it takes us to 240 countries the world over. True. You know, and uh, we're really enjoying the best of both worlds at this point. And lastly, before I go, the two ladies who have brought a change in the narratives and the kind of roles, this is also going to become a reference to the generations who are aspiring to come. What are the two ladies wanting to now change, if they could, and see that change? 
uh, well, like Vidya said, I'm a very greedy actor and I want more and I want more and I want more. And I don't want, you know, like today we are commenting and having a conversation about how I'm getting age appropriate roles. I really hope that there is a time when we don't even need to discuss this. I agree. But we never say this about heroes, no? my own created space in the last couple of years but uh, you know either it was if you're a good act you get paid if you're a star mm, 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 mm. if you're an actor you get appreciation mm, mm, mm. and I'm a role Diana it's mm. a very big deal mm, mm. this is ridiculous but so I just you know when when they value your work so much I don't see why the, that doesn't translate into the kind of monies that are offered. So I think these two particular changes, yeah. Last words, Vidya, ma'am. How does it get any better than this? <laughs> yes, how does this get any better, truly? <laughs> True. So, I mean, both of you seem to be in sync. You're also twining, as they say. Thank you so much. So, we all do the pratiksha of the Jalsa. Thank you so much. Such a pleasure meeting the two of you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Bye. 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 If you've liked this interview, please like, share and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram.